Family and friends have gathered here today, October 16, 2010, for the Warren Hall of Fame Sports Induction, where my brother, Dr. Richard Hart, along with several other inductees, will be recognized on this special occasion. Our next enshrinee initially made his mark on the basketball court as a starting point guard at Warren Harding. He set a sophomore scoring record there and is still one of the school's all-time leading free throw shooters. He later received his medical degree from Wright State University and now practices here in Warren. According to one website, his patients have given him an excellent rating. If, uh, if that comes as no surprise, it was a three and a half out of four star rating on the internet. So it's no wonder that he received two awards in his medical practice, including the Patient's Choice Award. Now a member of the Warren Sports Hall of Fame, please welcome Dr. Richard Hart, but first his presenter, Michael Verich. Well, Rick, it's well deserved that you're here today. I gotta tell you something, Rick, Dr. Hart and I, Richard Hart and I go back 35 plus years together. He's one of the best friends I ever had, and he's still a very dear friend today. And in this day and age, to have a friend that, that's that good of a friend for that many years, that says a lot about this good man right here. i got to tell you, before I talk a little bit about his sports achievements, and there, there were many in his basketball career, and Warren, Warren Harding, and when he went on to play basketball at Mansfield University, but the thing I like about Rick the most, I was always a big fan of his, uh, watching him play basketball from his young days all the way through high school, but he's a family man. He's a caring person. He's a good person. He has a wonderful family. His beautiful wife, Jessica, is here. His three children, uh, Remington and Thorsten, my godchild, and Montgomery. I mean, Thorsten scored 11 goals today at a soccer game this morning. That tells you how athletic these three are. They won all kind of awards. Remington won the uh, triathlon for the five-year-olds. And the little one is a pretty good little athlete, athlete also. He looks like he's going to be a middle linebacker for, I don't know what high school it is. Maybe Warren Hardy, huh? And his dad, uh, Clyde, is here today. And you know, Clyde had a lot to do with uh, Rick's, uh, you know, going into basketball and becoming the basketball star he was. I remember, if you remember the movie Hoosiers, that kind of reminded me of Rick when he was young. He'd be out there shooting in that basket in his, uh, on his garage door, and his dad put that basket up for him. And you know what? He made the hoop a rim a lot smaller. So when Rick shot those shots, he had to make a perfect shot for him to go in. And you know what? That's why he probably was the leading foul shooter in the history of Warren schools at about 90% average. You can thank his dad for that. And you can also thank his dad for passing on those good genes to, uh, to Rick. His dad won the national championship in the YMCA 100th anniversary foul shooting contest. Uh, it was national champion in senior division, 24 out of 25. Is that right? So you come from good stock, right? And then his sister, Crystal, is here today, and, uh, and she is filming this, and she was a ma uh, head majorette at Warren G. Harding, and I won't say what well, year, because she might smack me for that, but she looks like she graduated about 10 years ago. But let me just say this about, also about Rick. You know, not only is he a friend, but he cares about people. When I came in here today, Pat Giuliano said, where is he? Everybody's here but Dr. Hart. What's going on? And I says, I don't know. I mean, I hope I don't have to accept the award for him. And he was at the hospital checking on his patients. That's where he was. That says all I need to say about him. I mean, when my mother was ill before she passed away, he would come to our house at night and just check on her at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night to see how she was doing, to see if she was in pain. Is there anything he could do to help her? And then he would go to the hospital after that. That's the kind of man he is. And that's why not only is his achievements in basketball important, but his achievements in life is equally important. But a little bit about his uh, basketball. I'm not that he was just a great foul shooter, and I remember the one time we went to the Oktoberfest at Sharon, they had all these stuffed animals there. By the time he was done shooting foul shots, he put them out of business. He cleaned the entire stock out. <laughs> he must have hit 30 in a row that day. He broke his dad's record. So let me just say this. I've admired his basketball. I admired Ed Luco and Burrell McGee. I mean, these are great basketball players. When I, when I was growing up, I went to the games with my mom and dad. They had season tickets. When Coach Geisigan was the coach, and Ed Luco was out there burning the nets. It was just a great experience for me growing up, you know, follow these kind of great athletes and Warren. And this is what gives this city the pride it has today. The tradition we have in sports, the achievements that these individuals have accomplished is what made Warren the great sports town that is known throughout the country. But not only was Rick, when he was in Warren Harding, he was a three-year starter as a point guard. It was all conference uh, for three years in the Ohio Big A conferences. You know, they had Camp McKinley and Barbington. 
they have some great schools. He played against guys like Phil Hubbard and uh, other great athletes in that conference. He was all district as a senior. He still holds the varsity sophomore scoring record, scored over 900 points. And back in 1974, they had a six game uh, uh, suspension. They didn't play six games because the 1974 levy failed. Now, that was before they had the three point line, also. And Rick would have had well over 1,000 points if they counted all those shots he made from beyond 19 feet. He was one of the top five all time leading scorers in Warren, Warren schools. He had a one of the highest, again, free throw percentages, one of the greatest jump shooters in Warren Harding history. But most importantly of all, he's a great human being, has a successful practice on Perkinswood, a uh, family practice. And all I can tell you is I'm more than honored to be here today to present this, help present this, in, in, this induction into the Warren Sports Hall of Fame. And thank all of you for inducting him and all these great athletes today. Thank you.